Ahoy everyone and welcome aboard. I'll be your Captain Hillian today along with... Peace and Lieutenant Rukir at your service. And welcome back to Bastion for our second stream of this. And hello there in the chat, Marco. And uh, yeah, we, we started this game two weeks back about, I think. Yeah, yes, it has been delayed quite a few times now. Yeah, we had to miss a few streams and well, before we got the priority. Before we priority. <laughs> That's oh, off rhyme. <laughs> Anyways, last time, well, the world went to hell. We went to basically, uh, yeah, uh, a <laughs> sort of a skate boat or something in the air called the Bastion, where we met an old bastard who's been narrating what we've been doing. And from there, well, we've been collecting crystals to power the thing back up, and we've been meeting people along the way. Speaking we of... We darn near celebrated when the kid got back, didn't we? Zolf never thought he'd see a fellow her again. We become fast friends. Calamity has that effect on people. But there was more to be done. There was one last core to find. Yeah, one last core, but it won't be the end of the game, man. <laughs> okay, tell your cats hi back, Marco. Hello, Marcus Hat. Yeah, here we have, well, the kid, as Rux calls him. How old he actually is, we have no bloody idea, but, well, he's, he got the drinking, so he's likely of drinking age? Yeah, Question and mark. the way he... I was like, there he grunts. It's not that of a kid. Yeah. I think he was not a. More of a he, was, he happens to be a bit more short, but he is a adult. So I think he's around 18, 20. We're young adults, but. Yeah. Next up we have Zolf, who is an Ura. Basically, you know, they're like rocks and the kids, only lighter skinned. We'll get more info on them. And we have Zia. Who's also an Ura. Yep. <laughs> 30 is maybe a bit high, depending on how uh, <clears throat> how long it takes for people in this universe to uh, mature, because I'm pretty sure it's not our world, seeing as, well, the ground has basically ceased to exist. Let's see. Talk to Zia about the ancient spices from the melting pots. Eating this stuff was like a rite of passage in the city. Did the Ura like it? Most of the Ura never got a taste of Ceylandia's fine goods, unless they were born and raised in the city like Zia here. Yeah, yeah, and Zolf basically was an ambassador between the city and the Ura. The bronze spyglass. Not much to see out. Uh, <clears throat> not much to see out there beyond the bastion, but maybe you'll find something. Sure, the world's all gone to pieces farther than the eye can see, but leave it to this gal to point out the amazing view. The marshals bad. Did the marshals ever give you any trouble? You seem worried whenever you see this badge. Girl tried to run away from home one time, but the marshals stopped that, didn't they? Okay. Okay. Indeed. And then the, the hidebound journal. Traditional Euro script was outlawed in the city. Is this your handwriting? So many secrets in there, and she can't even read it. Her father's own journal. All right, so she can't read Ura, but it was her father who wrote that. Yeah, but why was it outlawed? Hmm. We might as well ask the Ura who does know how to read it. What do you make of these drawings and diagrams? Isn't this written in your native language? A scientific journal written in Zolf's native tongue. He learned so much from it. Too much. Totally not suspicious. And what do you have to say about this rock? Uh, do these charts and formulas mean anything to you? If only I'd known half the secrets of the calamity were tucked away in that book. I'd have worked to translate it right away. Oh. Well. Anyway, I think we have a crystal to put in here. Kid's surprised when I tell him there's only one core left. I shouldn't have believed it either. All right, and we can build only one more thing, the shrine. 
uh, plans for a facility whose uh, <clears throat> whose sacred idols may bring fortune or ruin. Just need a place to build it. Whether the gods will help or hinder in the wake of the calamity is anyone's guess. The and now the pantheon. Yeah, now we have access to these. Uh, oh, let's see, Marco. May all this still, even though I unfollowed on it. Okay. <clears throat> uh, yeah, with these we can put in modifiers, which, well, as you can see in the lower right, would give fragment and experience bonuses. Let's see. God uh, <clears throat> Akobi, goddess of oath and abandon. Foes shall have vengeance in the throes of defeat. Okay. No one bound the chast... Uh, the the chastened maid say for herself. Her shackles are her own design. And then we have Pith. God of commotion and order. Foes shall grow uh, quicker to move and to strike. Okay, so they basically attack faster. The wakeful bull. Patient yet temperamental. Adorns the city walls with his likeness. Let's not take any of those. Because we're mostly here for the story, not for challenge. Okay, interesting. They are... The gods seem to be... Gods of a... Oof. Basically... Well, as you saw there... The bull was god of uh, order and chaos. Yeah, they're two sides of the same coin. Yeah, so was the other goddess. What was it? Uh, hope and abandon? Yeah, uh, of oath and abandon. And it was pith, not piss, Marco. Uh, if you want to talk piss uh, jokes, you should go f uh, look for a certain photo-negative frog on YouTube. It's a, a YouTube where I found recently. I can't actually say their name well, because it's just a, a lot of small words, nothing specifically. But they are pretty fun. If you, if you, just, uh, go, if you just search uh, photo-negative frog man <laughs> and then, or something with a Kerbal Space Program, you'll probably find them. Oh, yeah. <clears throat> Let's see. We've missed... Apparently, we've missed two idols along the way. One for Javel, god of health and atrophy. Foes shall gain resilience to physical harm. Half the tower keeper's face is that of a youth in his prime, and the other an old man. And then Hansa, goddess of pain and pleasure. Uh, <laughs> okay, a certain 40k goddess would like to have your number. <laughs> Bows shall strike with greater ferocity, so more damage. They say the Veiled Widow is smiling beneath her robes, her body all scratches and scars. Alright. Let's see. Can we get anything more from the distillery? Nope. Do we have any new drinks? Oh, sorry, no. Whale? There was new ones. I saw new ones. Uh, whale long... ale. <laughs> whale ale. <laughs> okay. 25% uh, damage you know, uh, using secret skills. Mariners concocted this mixture to see them through rough waters. Musky, smoky aroma. So okay. basically, <laughs> basically alcohol made from whale oil. Oh, and there's another one. Stabs. Stabs. What? Automatically retaliate when injured. Waxy, thirst-quenching drink refined from ground stab weed needles. Spitting up... Okay, I think spitting up the needles is considered rude but effective. I think we've read that one before. Oh, and yeah. Every we have. That something stringy is an upgrade material for our bow, I believe. <gasps> Snap, What the heck? Let's see. Let's go with the machete and the breaker's bow. And yeah, you, let's see. You didn't like the gun, was it? Yeah, it? It works, but it's you have to be a bit risky with it since you need to get up close. Uh, let's see. Let's go with dancing shots. Thank you, Marco. My Wi-Fi connection is being fucky again. Okay. Luckily, the internet here has you been stable the since the disconnect. Beyond the city to the wilds. Okay. We have some more challenges around the place, but let's keep our focus on the progress. The Wild Outskirts. An expeditionary team aimed to use it to tame these lands, but went missing. 
That's the edge of the wilds, where Jawson and his boys disappeared. Totally not ominous either. The wild unknown. Place can eat a man alive. Place is so raw, even the calamity couldn't cook it. Not all of it. Oh, hello. Know what's better than having a slinger pistol in a fight? Having two. <laughs> well, there goes our our special. But uh, yeah, <laughs> now we can call ourselves a gunslinger. Savage things lurking at every turn. Like machine gun needle Pin bushes. Ain't the worst of it either. Ooh. So soon. Yep, at Wait, least they I... took care of the birds. Wait, are, are these the stag weed? You think they no, these are pincushions. Oh. Uh, yeah, we can't deal with them. We're just getting them to shoot each other and just have them shoot themselves. But yeah, that does mean that these things do have a certain amount of sentience to them. Maybe not much if they allow themselves to get tricked that badly. Let's see, how do we get to that? Oop, more birds. Pace was the roll. They shouldn't have let the guard down. There we go. Now let's just grab that and get out of here quick. Getting that core was one thing. Getting out's gonna be another. He digs his way out of the clearing, but the wilds won't let him go without a fight. Wallflowers survive the calamity. What them up. Uh, I wish I would call it top down dog souls. There we go. For the kid. What? It, oh, brambles. And uh, no, th this game can be a bit tough, but it's not unfair. A Joss until the outpost is all that's left of him. Yeah, let's keep the pistols, but let's go with this instead. Yeah, I think there are plenty of pop down Dark Souls already out there. Yeah, okay, and also, pattern. I do think that some people are using the Dark soul light a bit too easily. Yeah. Like I see it often used for games that have any endurance system with their combat. Oh, boy. That, 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 with that logic, it would basically be, be Valheim is a Dark Souls like. I think we act. Didn't we make that comparison when you first started with that? Cushion. Are we sure? Oh, it's a ship. I, I think it, the comparison I did not so is that you made it out this far. need to learn yes. to uh, be mindful of your stamina and how, when and how you block. Yeah. Like, sometimes you need to block, other times better to fade. Okay, I can hold down right click the button. Half the wild by now. Or I can just tap the rapid fire. Kiss 
faster in a slinger with those guns. I'm gonna take these out from a safe distance. Okay, it does get more inaccurate if you're tapping rapidly, it looks. Makes sense, of course. Let's see, Marco seems cool. I might pick this game up. Yeah, it is a good game, and it should be pretty cheap these days. I think it's often just discounted to five. Yeah, at least. Okay. Buy a lunkhead. And lunkheads ain't far too late. But I want to see. Apparently, it's not that a very long either. And yeah, this is a long head, basically a, an armored frog. Okay, that was a bit dumb on the... There we go. Yeah, one drawback with the machete is that it has a really short range. Wild green pineapples about the only good thing out here. Hardly any signs of the old Jawson camp. Yeah, they definitely got taken out, either by the wildlife or the wild growth. <laughs> Marco, you know what's better than having one pistol on the battlefield? Having two. The wilds already reclaimed this place. Something foul. Let's see. Rack smothered in cauldron ash, highly volatile. These rank smelling fuel lasts long and burns clean. Okay, and something greasy is for... The dueling pistol, okay. A tin of rattletail oil and mechanical lubricant. Extracted from a species of subterranean pest. Leave it to the kid to make time for stomping swamp weeds. Yep. Okay, stepped on something I shouldn't have. He's anxious to get back. There we go. But. Yeah, After very. All, he's got the final core. His journey's over, right? Well, no, it ain't. Not by a long shot. Kid knows something's up when we ain't there to give a warm welcome. See, Zolf and I were just wrapping up a heated discussion. Zolf can barely muster the words. The calamity failed, he says, but I will not. And with that, Zolf leaves us here, alone. What? Fractured monument. Evidence of Zolf's rage against the Bastion. Something brought out a flash of violence in the man. He attacked rocks and severely damaged the monument, then fled in anger. And yeah, he he has a good voice for narrating. Okay, the hell hawk, the hell happened, rocks. <coughs> Ask about the altercation with Zulk. Are you hurt? What happened back there? Zulk cursed the city, cursed the bastion, cursed me. Said he was going home. So yeah. When Zolf got through reading that journal, he just snapped. Started smashing up the monument until I tried to stop him. Zolf banged up the monument pretty bad. But there's a way to put it back together. The shards. We're gonna need all of them to nurse the bastion back to health. Yep. <laughs> We need to go out and get more. Okay, let's see. Can we get an... No, we can't get an upgrade because we're low on shards. Hey. Uh... Now I'm curious. What the heck was in the book? No. Bullets get eliminated. Vacuum sealing firing... Vacuum sealed firing cylinders provide superior accuracy with every shot. Let's go for that. It takes a lot of moving pieces to make a dependable sidearm. Okay. Uh, anything we miss on the way? I think we got most in that area. No, we missed the <laughs> secret skill. Let's see. A single swift devastating shot aimed straight for the foe's most vulnerable parts. 
practice of dueling soon ceased after the Slingers unveiled this trick. Probably because they castrated too many people by shooting them in the dick. The city brought the shards to the wilds. Now the kid's gonna bring them back. Let's see, Marco. Wait, you can only have one of them? Yeah, you have actually you can have three upgrades, but you can you have to choose between two different ones. Okay. Mm -hmm. Jaws and Bog. It rests somewhere in this fetid overgrown marsh known for driving man and man mad. Ugh. Why did I almost say it wild? The less said about Jaws and Bog, the better. That place will eat your mind. Well, we'll give it something tough to snack on. After Zolf's little episode, Kid sets off in search of shards. First stop, Jaws and Bog. You'll get lost in that bog, I told the kid, and I won't be able to guide you back. Well, I let him go. What else could I do? What could any of us do? Yeah, that's Zolf probably put us in a real bind. Hurt the bastion bad. Now, there, there probably is a mod or something you can do to get both of the upgrades, but yeah, it, it's more of a thing for making your own playstyle. That's a dead end. That looks like a drop. Oh wait, there we go. But the shards can make it better. They're like smaller doses of the core's medicine. Let's see, nothing here. There we go. Shame the only place to fill that prescription is out here in the wilds. This place is intoxicating. is known for being very spot on with the music. Yep. Like, the game, like, people love all the games except one that were mixed, but even that one, people praise the music on. that we can lock on to aim with shift. Tripping bad. Now the bastion can send him even farther into the wild unknown. I, 
I can cook eight or six. Six foot inside one of Ceylandia's famous watering holes. He has the nerve to flash the shield. What game is that then uh, that you found, Marco? Need to focus a bit. Dreams. Can't say I've heard of that. He sees what's left. What's left? I'm done. Boss fight time. Eh? That thing. Luckily, I think the bootlickers only pin us into place, don't actually damage. But still annoying as all hell. Somehow. Okay. Bang it out. knows what happened in the bog. Kid never much cared to speak of it. Understandably. Yeah. Mm. <laughs> I think we have enough shards. Shard is like a poor man's core, but beggars can't be choosers. That's it. Few more shards like that, and we'll be back in business. 
A single shard can breathe new life into this place. Okay, now we can upgrade one of these. The shard's got enough juice to spruce up any of these places. Let's see. The true distillery grants access to potent spirits from the private reserve. Let's upgrade this. Just the occasion to crack open the distillery's private reserve. Oh. Let's see. Falling moths. Reduce damage from falling, plus 200 damage by falling on enemies. <laughs> okay. <laughs> what? Very dry with flavors of pepper and gravel. First crafted by mountaineers claiming it helped them keep a surer foot. Okay. Whatever you need to tell yourself. Uh, let's see. We can't really roll these without moving the cursor over. So we kind of hope <laughs> we kind of need to keep an eye on <coughs> for what's new. Let's see. Black rye. Plus two uh, black tonic capacity. Has the fullness and texture of hardy stew. Set to improve short-term memory. Okay. Oh. Life wine. Survive an attack that would have brought defeat. Creamy, nutty flavors said to bring about courage and confidence. Favorite drink of slingers and other risk-taking sorts. Alright. And that's that, apparently. And we still need more levels to get more uh, to get access to more, more booze at once. <laughs> My guess is that he's bo he's mixing them together into a shot and then downs it. Let's oh, see. Yeah. Marco, falling malt sounds like him on Monday afternoon. Something we should know about, perhaps? We ain't much for pleasantries. Okay. Did we miss anything? Nope. Hey, are we able to go back to pick them up again? Um, let's actually see. The city tried to use the shards to stake out the wild. So much for that plan. Okay, we can't return. So that is why the lost and found is there, so you can just buy stuff that you've missed. Let's see. Rothus Lagoon. Folk, uh, <clears throat> folk tales say this is where the legendary An uh, Ankle Gator Queen resides. Rothus Lagoon. Even the brushes stopped going there. Didn't like being eaten. Welp, we need to go there anyways. Oh dear. And how does it end up getting to lose the room the wilds? And they nested at Rothus Lagoon. Many a tale folks used to scare their children straight originated here. Too late. All kinds of beasts were going to open that still looking about. There we go. Much easier when we can lock on. Uh, let's see, Marco. Be right back. Gotta go get myself some snacks. All right. All right. S sneaky decoy. Oh, the city's brushes knew their way around the lagoon. Okay. So we're lure, I'm guessing. Should have reloaded. Okay. Even the brushers learned to fear this place. Okay, it's a shotgun version of those plants. They used to think that ankle gators were extinct. Well, they ain't. One of them's been living in the tall grass. They called her Queen Anne. Yeah, that's an ankle gator. Queen Anne, really? Though I think it'll eat a bit more than just your ankles. Yeah, do I think they might open it out so that they don't like company? I think they need to put a use it go for the ankles, but a lot of go some frog flying and yeah we'll have to deal with queen anne okay also those frogs sound like 
Boars. Pigs. And welcome back, Marco. Oh, oh welcome back. Turns out Queen Anne yep. got a hold of a shard. Ankle Gators love shiny things. There we go. You're just gonna pick on the Packers. Oh, it smells worse than an ankle gator's breath. Yep. The stink weed. Yeah, we very much want to stay out of that. Unless we want to go hallucinating again. Can't fight Queen Anne without the tools. Yep. The brushers use their pikes to keep their distance around here. Now the kid can do the same. Single spear. They say you can't hurt an ankle gator unless it's raining. And it ain't raining. Sharp sticks make Queen Anne nervous, so she backs off a bit. And yeah, now we're getting a real good track. Yeah, did you some good music? Like with the machete, we can throw this one. Completely missed each shot there. <laughs> Not that one. Okay. Queen Anne can't fit down some of these narrow paths. Those. Okay. Queenie leaves the kid into some kind of twisted trap. One bad step in that tall grass, and he's Queen Anne's lunch. Let's just shoot these. He holds his ground. It seems the Queen's running out of options. Ew. You're actually coming after us now. get to an ankle gator's lair, the thicker the tall grass grows. He's got to make a run for it. That old gator's right on his tail. Hey. idea to walk in gator grass. Okay, I was a bit too close there. Oh, now I realize. We can see ankle gators close. All this time. Yep. Not a good detail, I would say. Not sure if that's one. Yeah. That, 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 that was something else. Queenie must have scared a bunch of beggars out of hype. Yep. She's going after the birds as well. Even stinkweeds know to stay away from the queen. Something pointy. Let's see, a strip of knife bark, aged to perfection, feared and respected by blacksmiths and woodcutters. Alright. Okay. Okay. Careful of the queen. Angle Gator Egg! Don't much care for their young. That's why there ain't many. Yeah, that would explain a thing or two. Uh, oh, so there are like actual alligators then, that would matter. No. Uh, Marco, this sounds like a rock between country and rock. Like a mix between country and rock, yeah. Uh, let's see. It is very large and heavy, and its occupant sounds to be alive. Anchor gators were thought to be extinct because their eggs took decades to hatch and were easy prey. Clamby must have unearthed this one. We should have saved that one. The shard sitting in plain view. Now she's coming for him. 
She's got nowhere else to go. He got it. And now to finish her off. Stay safe, you run across an angle gator. You better keep running. The day roll. <laughs> really the the anime I no uh, tear thing. Getting faster. Come on. Actually, we could probably just leave. The tele that thing there is active. Yeah, we could just leave, but uh, uh, we can use the experience now. Yeah, and might me drop something. Anything else around here? Big birds. Okay, let's get out. Kids done what needed to be done. Queen Anne's reign is over. We even got a crown jewel. There we go. All that trouble for a single shard. But you know what? It was worth it. Okay, now we can upgrade another one. Hmm. Which Anything at the one arsenal? Or... Oh? Let's see. The true arsenal grants access to the trapper snare, a powerful secret skill. Okay. Let's check the other ones. It's looking like these upgrades aren't as useful as just getting the entire building. But, yeah. Let's see, the true lost and founds grant access to additional inventory, including near spirits. That could be useful. And the true memorial grants access to a, to a variety of new vigils in remembrance of the calamity. That's it. Do we have anything? Uh, no, we've got nothing new. But we didn't complete any others. Let's do the lost and found. We need an awful big lost and found under the circumstances. Let's see. Pike Vault, a dexterous trick, a trick with which the wielder leaps into the air to crash down an unsuspecting foes. The brushers adapted this maneuver from great war stories passed down from older generations. Hmm? Uh, the memorial, that is where we basically have a... Uh, mini quests so to say like kill a certain amount of this enemy and such <clears throat> we missed some of these it seems it's something wrong a flake of unusual rock unseen prior to the calamity it rides at the slightest touch yet feels like bone only heavier okay bull brandy 15 percent damage resistance pretty nice uh, viscous beverage brewed as an offering to Pith. Uh, known for promoting longevity and resistance to pain. We have Graver Grimlet. 5% chance to turn zealous after defeating a foe. While zealous, plus 200% damage for 3 seconds. Okay. Photosensitive beverage with a mild chalky flavor brewed on the ground. Potent effects come and go unpredictably. Then... Leechade gain some health by striking uh, foes minus 66% health tonic potency. Uh, no thanks on that. Uh, intense sour flavor known for its invigorating effects. Bitter taste la lingers for hours. <laughs> no thanks. Extra. And then we have Ooh. Mender Mead gain some health by counter blocking with the bull health with, with the bullhead shield. Filled with herbs and vitamins that promote wellness. Fragrant herbal bouquet. Okay. Might as well grab that. It wasn't fixed. It was unbroken. And we didn't miss any mementos. Yeah, let's grab that one as well. Okay, now let's go talk. Uh, let's see. Marco, leachate sounds delicious. <laughs> okay. 
Uh, ankle gator. Egg. Do you think an ankle gator could be tamed? That gator is a crazy gal. But so is the gal who promised to look after her. I guess that's an answer. <laughs> okay, rocks. Ever seen anything like this before? They said Queen Anne was just a folk tale. Now there's living proof she ain't. Or was, at least. Okay. We've got an extra level so we can add to our cocktail. Let's see. Let's go with damage resistance first. Bull brandy is thicker than paint. Makes your skin feel as tough as knife bark. Okay. <laughs> uh, let's see. For the pike, we have plus 15% critical hit chance or 50% faster throw reload. Okay. So, yeah, the pike and the machete are similar. That they can both be thrown, only the pike is more single hit damage uh, with higher, well, single hit high damage, while the machete is quick attacks with, well, less damage each. Yeah, the, the pike also have a much longer reach. Let's see. Let's actually take the mirror shield and see what he has to say about a combo of brusher pike and dueling pistols. He's a spitting image of Slinger Jawson with that pike and them pistols. Okay. <laughs> okay. The next shard should be farther out there in the wild. Yeah, we're going quite a distance from uh, the original area, huh? Yeah. Point Lemaine. It's somewhere inside the city's largest outpost in the wild unknown. Point Lemaine's Grand Rail once brought the riches of the wild right to our doorstep. Alright. <laughs> know how Ceylandia became the richest city in the world? Two words. Point Lemaine. If the wilds could ever be tamed, it was gonna happen right here. Okay, looks like these little guys are a bit like booze. But now, mm -hmm. the greatest outpost past the city line is nothing but a freak show. Here we go. The army's triggers once had the place on lockdown. Just like my fighting days. Gun like that can even put the wilds in check. Yep. <laughs> now we've got a rifle. Ow. Of course, it takes a bit to load. Get rid of him. Okay. Interesting rifle, but bloody heavy bombs are issue quickly. Yeah. For the more. Okay, blue variant is a lot more quick on the draw, but also less health. Yeah, oh, that's your statue there. Yeah, that's the... Statues. Yeah, that's the one we got the rifle of. Play shutters in a fit. Grand Rail of Point Lemaine. Not only is it still there, it still works. Of course, it's no longer shipping hides and alloys and spices, but it can give the kid a lift. Just as long as he can stay clear of the trouble on the tracks. Okay, the, the eyeball things, they close up when we look at them. But the accidentally clicked outside of the game. Oh, bloody heck. Grand Rail's all grown over with things of calamity and chewed up and spat out. Things eager to take back their turf. Okay, the power shop is just before it closes up. Uh, let's 
Woods. Marco just found a found out that Johnny Depp acted in Charlie and the Chocolate Factory. <laughs> he he plays Willy Wonka. Oh, he did. Never thought of that. He lets a few of them slip by. It's, it does sound like he's a role he will do. Just settle in like my own place. He, he's really hard to recognize in that movie, to be honest with you. Yeah, with all the makeup. And yet, he was easy to recognize when he played as an Indian in the. What was it? What was it? Like the Mask Ride or something? I think. Takes fancy footwork on the rail, but with wallflowers coughing fungus everywhere. You? Okay. We can continue on. Yeah, he he played Willy Wonka. And if I remember right, here, he might be back on board to do more Pirates Caribbean movies again. Okay. Hasn't they, haven't they reached like number five already? So the new one would be number six. Yeah, but I had to let him go first and do to, I don't know the court thing. Yeah, in which he was proven. Closed off, but now it's split open like a rotten pineapple. Yeah, he was proven innocent. Yep. Of course, the Grand Rails seem much more fighting in bygone times. Near on 50 years ago, first shots fired in the Ura Ceylandian War. And hello, Rom! Oh, hey, Rom. I didn't know you could pop in because I have the sounds of that turned off. So, how's everybody doing tonight? Doing well. Doing well. You? Well, I guess we'll go. It was right here that Zolf's Ura forefathers decided to mix it up. Yes. Maybe need some morning coffee? Nah, I'm fine. Don't worry about it. Okay. Um, you know what, Spirit? I'm just gonna pass the video. Give me a minute. Okay. Uh, let's see. Marco, I think there are like four. I love Pirates of Cream movies. <laughs> and he says morning, Rom. Okay, so maybe we didn't get Thanks. their sign off on the whole Grand Rail thing. That was bad. And let's see, there was the original three, and I think they made one or two more after that. Not much wiggle room up on what? the rail. Yeah, yeah. Pirates of Caribbean movies. Which movies? Pirates of the Caribbean. Uh, yeah, there were the original three, and then they met two more. The rail yeah. must have yep. shook the era to the bone down in those dens of theirs. And I think I heard Disney give full apology to Johnny Depp. Well, the rail won't last much longer now that the kid took the shard. It's still got one good run in store for him. Wood there on the rails, turn it into swamp weed central. Uh, well, yeah, we're playing Bastion. Try dancing side to side while holding your breath. While shooting a genuine registered army carbine. I'm choking on swamp weed. Peggers trying to prick you in the eye. Well, let me tell you. <laughs> I thought if they never they could come down and pass. There we go. Can get through here. Oh, hello. Okay. It's not great material. Oh, one of these. What's happening? Really fancy. Hmm? Yeah. That's a random side note. I'm not the only one that thinks that. Then at last, Again. it's the end of the line. He'll be picking swamp weed out of those boots for days. Always remember to bring new socks. Company up the rail station, waiting for him. 
<laughs> a new stock? What? New stock. Not just stock of what? No sock. Who? No. At first he thinks it's Zolf. Yes, Disney owns Pirates of the Caribbean. Yep. This they is for you, it for a while. says the man. Then wham. <sighs> when the kid comes to, the man's long gone. But something else is there. The only words the kid recognizes on that parchment are for Zia. A letter addressed to Zia. It appears to be written by Zolf, who must have found another Ura survivor to deliver the message. Maybe Zolf taught Zia enough of their native language to be able to read this. Well, what's a kid to do? He took the shard, he took the hit, and he took that note. That Aren't note you? cuts straight to the heart of things, don't it? Anyways, uh, what I meant about the stock was uh, was a, was actually kind of a Forrest Gump reference. Okay. It ain't too late to unlock the potential of this place. Basically, one of the things that Gump's commanding officer tells them when he arrives in Vietnam is to always have a pair of of socks to spare so that he can swap them uh, after especially long walks. Okay. Oh, that uh, kind of makes sense. Okay. The True Forge grants access to two <clears throat> two additional upgrade tiers, unlocking the full potential of each weapon. Ain't saying much, but that's the greatest forge in all the city. It's probably the also the only. Forge in the city. The only forge, yeah. Something That's... sharp, something pointy. <laughs> yeah, now we have five levels of this. Uh, let's see. Don't think we'll have much use of either of these. Since I'm mostly using it for melee. Let's swap this out. Let's see. High power ranged weapon, high damage output, but heavy recurl. Variable accuracy, a standard bolt issue arm <coughs> to bolt yeah, action rifle of the Ceylonian Armed Forces, also known as the weapon that conquered the continent. Let's take the pistols. Small enough to be used in Paris, these cr pistols grew in popularity beyond the walls as Ura ambushes mounted. Okay. Uh, anyway, it's also, I was gonna say, have any of you ever played? Any Five Nights at Freddy's game? Uh, no, I've no. not played any of them at all. Watch them, but I'll play them. No, that's fine. It's just that I kind of already posted the video, but I think I might as well say it here. Okay. I'm not the only one that thinks. I'm pretty sure I'm not the only one that thinks that the ending of the sixth game is basically just the ending of a Saw movie, right? Uh, let's see, the sixth one. Which one was it again? Because they stopped putting letters at a certain point. Yeah, like that one was... Up to four, then uh, sister location. Uh, you mean the uh, the open world is one? Security breach? No, security breach was... Uh, it's not the one. Oh, no, wait. Yeah, they went to five. Okay, yeah, I am thinking of Sister Location. Yeah, that was basically the ending of a Saw movie. Hang on. I may not have thought of the endings like that. Let's see. Or he's talking about the ending of Sister Location specifically, I believe. Uh, let's see. It's meant for Zia. Isn't this Zolf's handwriting? Zolf's messenger was one of his people. Wonder just how many of them survived. And what exactly Zolf told him? Actually, weirdly enough, is Pizzeria Simulator. What? Because of, basically 100% the game and all of a sudden you get a call and 
it kind of feels more like a saw ending. Okay. Well. Oh, I, I think I was thinking of... Uh, I think I was thinking of Five Minutes to Freeze 3 and went from there or something. Yeah, I, I've, not keep, I've not been keeping an eye on that. I know that they finally got that movie going again, but uh, something dumb in the trailers because they made the animatronics eyes red, so it just makes them look high as all fuck instead of evil. Yeah, I was surprised what... <laughs> You also tried to do it before, but I don't know if it's another movie based on another old uh, see, uh, thing I don't think people remember. And the reason Drew Gass, of course, well, the original owner of Final Flap just said, okay, if you're not going to take it serious, I'll go elsewhere. And they went to Blumhouse. And so seeing this trailer really made me confused for its universal Ken. Like, is Blumhouse owned by Universal or something? Not sure. Anyways, when did we pick this up, or did she just bring it out? Uh, what did you I do think? for food back when you were living on Prosper Bluff? Finding gourmet ingredients ain't easy these days, but we'll take what we can get. Okay, so she basically used whatever she could find for food. And the sealed notes. Can you read this? It's addressed to you. The note says it plain. Zia. Go east to learn the truth about the calamity and our people. I'll be waiting. Sincerely, Zulf. Let's see, Marco. Yeah, Pizzeria, same as the sixth game. Yeah, the new fans that got here from Security Breach complained about the red eyes. Days. <laughs> okay, eyes on the screen, the not on the tent. To find. Let's see, Colford Cauldron. Here it simmers in this unstable area, which once pierced to the heart of the world. No risk of Colford Cauldron ever erupting again, they used to say. Guess they were wrong. A uh, volcano. And yeah, in case it was missed earlier, the Ura used to live on the ground in tunnels. Not everything blew up in the calamity. Why Colford Cauldron here blew up way ahead of its time. The cauldron boiled over some 300 years ago. They say it filled the skies with ash and the lakes with molten rock. If you wanted to survive something like that, you had to learn to adapt. Ow. Ow. That thing's firing globs of stuff at us. Ow. Ow. Uh, globs okay, of ants. So, in a way, no. the beasts of the wilds, they're all survivors, too. I was say, I know some lore, but that's not the thing to lore videos. It takes a certain stubborn pride to keep on living in a place like this. As for us, we learned an awful lot from Colford Cauldron. Fire bellows. That learning led to some interesting inventions. Yeah, we have a flamethrower. The raw power of the world fell right into our hands. Yep. Don't Why are one of you one flamethrower. Yeah. Um. <laughs> uh. I love when we just reload by just, you know, spinning them. Oh dear. Okay. Let's make a path. Sure, we dusted off a good many secrets out here. And that's. There's a side path here, so let's quickly go there. Something heavy. I have okay, to say, this is most oversimplified flamethrower I've ever seen. Yeah. But we discovered other things better off than no one. I've always found it funny how. In video games, flamethrowers tend to not be a good option. Taste the air so hot it's 
Hey, Miss. Yeah, that's the that... case, but it's almost overpowered. Yeah, is it. A flamethrower has like 30 minutes. Like, at least the ones used in like World War II and Vietnam have like. 30 seconds worth of fuel, and they basically stick to you instantly, so you're gonna be in pain. You can cook those things, but you can't eat them. Wasted a lot of the healing items, but okay. Meanwhile, in video games, it tends to depend. Sometimes the flamethrower is the one shot to kill with good range, and sometimes it has zero range, and it it barely does any damage. Never thought we'd find so much life in all that ash. Uh, don't forget, you also have the flamethrower that's equally dangerous to an enemy as it's dangerous to yourself. That is also true. Yeah. <laughs> and there's, uh, let's... there's enemies with flamethrowers who usually also tend to have a large backpack on them and you just get that and boom. Yeah, and we had those in Indiana Jones and the Emperor's Tomb. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, speaking of things that are unpleasant, if either one of you wind up deciding to live in Chicago um, for some reason, I'm not entirely sure why. For the record, you ain't a true Chicagoan unless you decide, unless you at least take a sip of the Jefferson Mallard, aka the Champagne of Pain. Okay. Yeah, no thank you! Oh dear. And what kind of item did we find there? Uh, you found the culture. Yeah, we found, um, we completed the culture, that's a side quest, and we found a oh. pecker nest. A patchwork of sticks with a lone egg nestled inside. Peckers were hunted aggressively before the calamity, but their numbers never seemed to dwindle. Even now they appear to be thriving. And yeah, we just just find a bunch of mementos to get that one. Nice. And yeah, the fire bellows burn After through all, them even when they're defending. We look down inside Colford Cauldron. Look down with all the smoke and flames. We saw in there the heart of the world. The heart was now laid bare by the calamity. Let's get out. He had to have it. As for the kid, he just has to get that shard out of there. Too bad taking that thing woke up every last stink eye from here to Jawson Park. Of course, they're called stink eyes. Yeah, they basically run at us, and if they touch us, they burst into one of those stink clouds. So it, the name does fit. Yeah, no, it's funny coming on that. Kids is this thinking every he's enemy... got a trick all the way back around the cauldron. I think like every enemy is based on a Western lingo, slang, something. Yeah. Uh, let's see, Marco. Uh, funny how I never played or watched any of the FNAF games, but still know some of the lore. And a game where the flamethrower is OP, or at least I would have to say, is Resident Evil Mercenaries 3D. Okay. I don't think I played Luckily any of the. Cold, mm -hmm. Cooked up a little shortcut for him. Sure, it ain't the most convenient path. Uh, the only Resident Evil that I've played myself. Nope. Get out. Biggest I've been, uh, guys ever seen waiting for him on the other side. The only Resident Evil game that I've ever played has been four on the Wii. Well, it ain't polite to stare. I played. I played the first game, first well, on the Nintendo DS, and I played the remake, HD remaster. Played the second game, 
I played the third game. I played the fourth game. Actually, the first game I played was with Veronica. But it came in a pack in a bundle that also included Outbreak File 1 and uh, Resident Evil 4 alongside the PS2 that it came with. So I got. So I also played Resident Evil 4. I played that one the most. And now it's break file one. Still see the cauldron from the city. Resident Evil Revelations, Resident Evil Revelations 2, Resident Evil 5, Resident Evil 6, now. Resident Evil 7. Left of it. Uh, uh, Umbrella Chronicles, Dark Side Chronicles. He comes back looking like the inside of a chimney. Yeah, this description. I mean, yes. he was in an area that was mostly on fire. Yeah. Point taken. Let's see. Marco, I'm still waiting for Capcom to remake Dino Crisis. You and every Dino Crisis fan out there. Yeah. The show works like a charm. Oh. You can hear the monument's heartbeat again. Okay. Right, what gets upgraded this time? Oh, that's to be Arsenal. The Arsenal's complete, in case we need protection. What is that? Camper Snare. A sophisticated snaring kit that instantly springs open to immobilize foes in the user's vicinity. Trappers relied on this for hunts that didn't go as planned. Okay. Uh, let's stick with the mirror shield. I haven't been using these bellows to a shootout, but it just might work. Yep. Yeah. Also, you know your melee weapon. Yeah, let's go back to the pike. And he won't repeat himself too much, I think. Let's see. Uh, those birds can breed just about anywhere, can't they? They said the wild could never be tamed. If only they could see us now. Okay, so yeah, you have a way with animals. Do you know this egg supposed to be making a muffled chirping sound? Um. We're all a little short on friends these days, so that's a welcome sight. Yeah. Looks like a combo of a woodpecker and a hawk. A culture. A still life of old unwanted keepsakes. Okay. That gave us a good amount. Did we miss anything? Not by the look of it. Let's get one of these. And let's go look for upgrades for the pipe then. And there's only two more shards to get, I believe. Uh, might as well get that. Brushes pike. You just need a good length of knife bark. Let's see. 50% critical hit damage. A rugged grip that allows for more forceful, more accurate strikes. Or thrust attacks cause knockback. A contoured grip designed for lunging thrusts, uh, thrusts and aggressive handling. Let's grab that. Don't want that thing leaving your hands until you decide it's time. Yeah. And... I think we can uh, just about afford getting the other bits and the upgrades. Or are we just short? No, we can. Oh, faster attack speeds, durable bonds that fasten together the construction, allowing for even faster striking speeds. Uh, Marco there. Listen, I already got a double barreled <laughs> shotgun, a point <laughs> 44 Magnum, and a Glock 17. All I need is some way to raid Capcom HQ without getting caught by airport security. Good luck with that. And let's oh, see. Oh dear. Let go with okay, Ura bindings for. So that throw attacks can stun. Aerodynamic bonds that ensnare uh, foes on contact, enhancing throw attacks. Let's go with attacks. Gotta please. make sure the pointy ends fastened on real tight. Okay. Two more shards to get. We spotted a pecker carrying a shard to Mount Zan. That's some good eyesight on you, rocks. <laughs> Mount Zan. It is held what? inside the remains of a holy mountain once filled with flora and fauna. Not much left of Mount Zan nowadays. It's like a cross between a zoo and a prison break. That's a description, yeah? What? 
And uh, this is how you spell sand in Dutch, just putting a Z instead of the S. Can't rightly call Mount Zand a mountain anymore. There's no more mountains now. There's no place left for the beasts of the wild to go. So they figure they'll hold out right here, on a slab of mountain the Calamity forgot. And yeah, we'll have, we'll have to deal with the brush for a bit. Actually, if we have, maybe if we had the machete or the bellows, we could burn this off, carve it. Oh, forest fire. I think we pushed the long head off the edge there. Also, that noise that the yeah that the ankle biters uh, make is one that would play well, a lot. They found their little lair because they found themselves a little shard. That would play a lot in a Zanzara swamp area in the background. Okay. Looking here is a stock, uh, stock, stock, a stock sound. Oh, uh, let's see. <laughs> Best explanation ever. Uh, Captain, you <laughs> have to commit deforestation. Uh, we can't really do that much with a spear and some pistols. Unless we have like a lot of ammunition and spare time. And we have to firm, we have to burst the with the ladder. Quick, we get the uh, sponge, get the Frenchman from SpongeBob to tell us how much time has passed. An affinity later. Can't you repeat that? An eternity later. There we go. Now I can hear you better. For I was only sure what the heck you said earlier. There's something sort of this on something about a leader. No. Yeah, let's see. Why didn't I take the flamethrower? Because I didn't know we, <laughs> we would be dealing with brush in here. Best thing we can do for those beasts right now is put them down quick and clean. Here. Take back what's ours. Uh oh. Yep. Even if the beasts of the wilds won't like it. We've got ourselves a mortar cannon. <laughs> I do wonder what is up with the gas fellas and such. Oh, it reminds me. So I need to. I almost forgot I need to look up yet. About firearms or something. It's either them or us. But if we win, they win too. Our bastion is everybody's game, not just ours. All right. Those is apparently they may have found that Vikings may have access. Try to to do firearms. Okay. What the city I have to see again. Those beasts took for themselves. Right, I was gonna say, I have to see later if I can find a video to see if the video is just bullshit or there is some. something it's based on. It takes a lot of convincing, and our mortars have to do the talking. Yeah, Marco, finally, airstrike has been unlocked. Yeah. Oop, power shot, okay. When is the power shot mark then? Okay, just before it reaches the end. Okay. Unfortunately, there's no explaining that to a simple beast. 
beast been hard at work fixing up the place. Spitting at us. Okay, no, it reaches it at a certain distance. They've rounded up their survivors, just like we have. Go. How much survivors there will be left uh, from this? Yeah. Yep. It's a delicate situation. Delicate. They've been searching for cores and shards, just like we have. Wait. Holy, you're right! That's my cabin! You're in. Maybe they've thought about turning back, just like we have. But this actually does look we somewhat likely. Really need their shard. You know, this does look at some a bit point like the kid's got to learn how to land. <laughs> uh -oh. oh, it's two of these. And this time they spit up instead of out. Oh, that's this one of these stink onions here. I just realized something. Hmm? Well, it's been a fair few months since we've done Borderlands. Yeah, that's still haven't heard from Liz. Oh, yeah, the yeah, internet has been fixed. Mm, probably good to the. Well, yeah, you know, I should say, you're probably good to soon uh, ask them. Yeah. He's done yeah, what's best bad. for him, don't you worry. Don't you worry. Who are you trying to resolve, uh, re <clears throat> convince their rocks? We'll yourself? all be better off once the bastion is complete. Oh. Seriously, the kid really needs to figure out how to land. Let's get it better. Zolf sure did a number on it, though. Where they could put down a bloody pillow. <laughs> there we go. The true shrine grants access to new idols. Seems the gods recommended this place to all their friends. Think the gods are gonna help? Let's see. Micaiah, goddess of loss and longing. Both shall regenerate from any injury. Yeah, no. The Lord even... Mother gave away her heart and bears the star of Ceylandia instead. You don't even get any XP or extra bonuses. Yeah, we do get. We just need to activate them. Okay. And then last we have Garmouth. God of purpose and folly. Spose shall deflect attacks on a whim. Despite his lack of senses, the crippled duke gives counsel to the humble and the wise. Okay. Now how do we say this one? A Kobe. Alright. Uh, let's see, Mark, I'm gonna start watching One Piece. Wish me luck. You're going to need it with how long that goes. Like Take breaks, which take what's like. Uh, I would advise against binging it hard, but after every arc or so, go watch something else for a bit. Because if you try to go at it just one at a time each, you're going to burn out on that so hard because I was. Yeah, wait, wait, that, that's more. Make a note of which episode uh, you are on until you take a break for. I did that a few times, but when one time I went to go back, I was only able to find the episode I was on. Then I gave up on One Piece. Yeah. Also, you inexplicably find the Brave Pet Wolf on your house. Um, don't ask. Just run. Wait, what? That a joke would make more sense if it was Hunter Hunter. But anyways. Yeah, in all seriousness, just uh, take a break, uh, write up what episode you were on when you decided to take a break, and do not, do not binge the whole fucking thing. Yeah, you are going to kill yourself on that. Yeah, uh. and make sure, uh, and I tried it to watch it, but some, some series they gave season numbers, a One Piece, nope. 
new season numbers, just 300, 301, 302, 305. Yeah. So yeah, impossible to give on which season you were on, or which was the fillers. Actually, no, there is no fillers in One Piece. Hmm, a bit debatable, but yeah, just, just keep in mind that some arcs later on get stretched out like it's fucking Dragon Ball Z. Uh. <clears throat> Anyways, is it alright if we use this here? It's not like the neighbors are going to complain. I suppose it's true a little song can put things in perspective. Plus, whoever is playing this guitar is going to get yeah, bored of that sooner or later. Let's see. Do you know how to use something like this? I thought you might like it. Fix that thing right up, didn't we? Made these goings on a little livelier. Okay, they're just moving about. Okay, so we can, we can swap between the songs here now. Always nice when you can when you when a game gives you a jukebox in the hub. Just a couple yeah. shots left. The quarry's gotta have one, right? Let's see, Burstone Quarry. Once there were many such treasures in this key source of Salonia's wealth. The secret to how we built Salonia so tall and proud lies in Burstone Quarry. Okay, yeah. When they shot I, they <laughs> take a lot. Imagine of everything you need to build a city like Ceylandia. It takes hard work and planning, and it also takes first stone quarry. The Ura tunnels beneath the quarry must have softened the blow from the calamity. Same goes for its natives. Rattletails. Why would the Ura put up with those pests? Rattletails ain't the worst of it either, but more about that in a little bit. The quarry came with a lifetime supply of windbags. Windbags smaller than the naked eye can see are nested in those rocks. Hey. even more to it than that. Seems they like to mine. Probably gets Not only the... are these rocks a source of life. We found that the oldest ones remember things. Okay. Hits. No. They're recording everything, all the time, taking it all in. But this is basically their breeding ground, so that's where they're mining. No wonder all those beasts were drawn to the quarry. The rocks were calling them. Oh, you're trying to attack me now. Yeah, so you accidentally hit him. Quarry free from this turned out to be a problem. The windbags tended to the rocks, so we had to keep the rattle tail at bay. Without those windbags, the quarry might not have its special qualities. They're going to pop up the moment we grab this. Oh, even the stink baby. eyes started taking root in here. Uh, let's see, Marco uh, got three favorite characters, Zoro, Ace, and the blonde guy who smokes. Sorry, I forgot his name. Sanji? Sanji. 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 Zoro, I... And I'm taking this from TV Tons of Mess. Sanji Zoro has, like, the worst, the second worst sense of direction in all of anime. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I think you can put up someone uh, that has worse than him. Uh, I think it's a character from Ranma 1 half. Yeah, Ryoga. 
Oh yeah, him. I was the Joker and Killian, but yeah, that little guy. Oh boy. Wait. Do you hear it almost? Superstitious like imagine just going down a hallway and getting lost. Yeah. yeah. Did, did he actually do that? I think it might have happened. Yeah, that he somehow got lost off the three steps or something. Okay, and becoming a bit of a maze. Actually, I think about it. Know that we're hidden anything above ground. Like, hey, so uh, is aware that he's bad by the directions. Say the quarry was a godsend. But the other guy is a bit too proud to admit it. Yeah. Or, or rather, he's more too proud to be aware of his bad directions. It's like. I knew where I was always Those going, and he winds up in an entirely different country team. trying to go down to the shop to get groceries. Largest ones. Yeah. You know what's cool. Oh, God. And I think it's supposed to run into family with him or something. And I can't tell if I'm making progress forwards or not. Damn it, you're going somewhere. It has been a while since I read a couple. keep the lights on in the entire city district. The smaller I, ones. I... We call him Shards. I have... Hush, narrator, hush. I have the entire run my manga collection in my bookshelf. Hmm. Did you know that there's an entire die for a ship section for Gundam? Okay. <laughs> Wait, for what? Fucking... Okay, so die for a ship is basically a trope. Where basically, people want a character to get together with another character. This is called shipping. Yes. Thing. And die for a ship is basically when you dislike a specific ship in such a way that one half of the equation the is always portrayed the in the most negative way possible. To the motherland. Place being real noisy. Yeah, it is. Uh, let's young... see. Uh, Marco, and the number one getting lost uh, uh, character goes to Hillian. <laughs> <laughs> Where the fuck is he? <laughs> well, we know he's in a quarry. In which one? The uh, the one which he has a quarrel with. Now the quarry's all dried up. These rocks are much too young to be a use. Wait. Okay, random fact. Do you, do you wanna know what the alternative name for my for a crossbow bolt is? Is it uh, what? Quarrel. Uh, okay. that's a new one. Yeah it, I think Warhammer is the only franchise that ever has used a one of the more actually more original term for a crossbow man. Quarrel our quarry. Huh. That honor goes to a beast we took to Colin. Sir Lucky. Massive thing stopped many of our boys. We just couldn't get rid of him. I just I think I just I actually myself. I actually own, own this game, I have like the, the soundtrack on my phone. On my phone. Okay. Alright. Alongside a bunch of different video game soundtracks. Down the hall. Oh, really? Are you alright? It says. Wait. Someone else here? Wait. Those are there the raptor tails? Yeah. Is that a platypus? Sort of. Can we find a platypus with a fucking with a fucking fedora on? I'm just gonna make the parry to platypus to joke. You. He says. What happened back there between you and Rox? The Bastion is under siege. Oh, shit. Let it fall. You should not go back. Mm. Kid hears him, but he ain't about to be deterred. 
If that's the way it is, he says, then I won't stop you. Because my countrymen will. What the heck was in that damn book? Well, that says it there. Say what you will about Zolf, but he's a man of his word. Does he? His countrymen don't much care for pleasantries, though. I think I missed that what they said in that little discreet, but oh no. Mercy. Zolf shows us the way here. And here they came to take revenge. They got inside the bastion and shut the door. Kids gotta go in through the back. I should have told him sooner about all this. To make matters worse, seems the Ura took the girl. Oh, what? Unfortunately, they broke in and they started digging their hole. Something wrong was running out of those holes. And it's a huge way in this place. They were trying to stop them, but we needed help. No way out of this. Not without a fight. <laughs> So that was the reason was to get all these pets. Oh yeah, right. I almost forgot. Uh, I I figured it out on the gate room, but uh, I bought myself my first gun plot. Okay. You what? Uh, a gun plot is basically a model kit for, for uh, Gundam. Oh, oh, okay, okay. And fittingly enough, it's the Somehow, first ever Gundam, the RX-78-2. sends those who are packing. Problem is, it didn't matter. Zolf's plan worked. Everything's on fire. And we lost the We spot. find each other as the dust settles. Then I tell him why the Ura came. To get us back. For the calamity. It was Ceylandia's master plan to wipe the Ura out. But part of that plan backfired, didn't it? If only Zolf knew the whole story. Yeah. What? And, uh, yeah, the little companions that you get uh, as you go, or you can find as you go, they can all die. We lost the little squirts. And yeah, that's har that's Zia's harp guitar. Where's Zia? Did you see what happened to her? What were we to think? They must have got her. Taken her back to her rightful home. Seems there's a little wound in my mustache that's leaking fluids a bit. It's getting annoying. So if you see me make movements the like this. Put this disease in remission, but there's only one cure. We need to finish what we started. Yeah, that, that's me just wiping my uh, it away on my sleeve. The memorial may be finished, but our part is far from over. Let's see. The Mercy. Vanquished creatures touched by the Calamity. Defeat the required number of different species of beasts. Okay. And apparently the Ura were number 15 on that. The Mercy. The Windbags ain't the only beast that drew a bad lot. And then we have the Conscience. With an experience from Trials and Tribulations. Okay, just get to level 5. The Conscience. We haven't lost everything. Long as we have that. And the Sanctuary. Build the Bastion. Create every structure in the Bastion. The Sanctuary. If we can build, we can rebuild. Okay, so basically you get this one automatically when you upgrade this place, because you can only upgrade it once you've already I've built asked everything. I've a lot of the kid, but this is something he's done on his own. 
Okay, swap that back. And time to head out again. The Ura swooped down from the east. At least now we know the way. Here's kind of Urs and draw gates. So those aliens must also want the final shard, knowing it is key to undoing the harm they caused. Urzendra Gate used to lead down to the terminals. Now it leads up to the stars. The stars? Yeah. Yeah. One last shard. It's all we need to put this mess behind us. And mother, what a mess it is. Mess like that could have only been made by hand. Zolf said the calamity failed, and he's right. The Ura stand is living proof of that. Now we're lo no, now we're lo no longer fighting mindless beasts. We're finding we're fighting people. That's a double barrel that they're somehow shooting four times. Uh, it's Marco. Plot twist. The kid finally learns how to land at the end of the game. <laughs> <laughs> I cannot hope he does. Get him behind the bench. Scientist named Ven. Ven worked for the Mansers, the sharpest knives in the city's drawer. Let me go. With his help, the Mansers devised a way to seal the Ura tunnels shut in a flash. Just like that, every last era living in the Tazel terminals will be gone. Since only some. Basically, the calamity was Celandia's Manhattan project. This never to be used, they said, except as a last resort. Let's 
killing us? Probably should have looked for a few upgrades. Imagine how Van must have fell when they found the made him pull that tree. We can look for quite a little upgrade style. Marco, shower thoughts. You are the. Uh, you are the nicely being spied on be, you know, by your future self, by them looking through their memories. The, the nice. What? Nicely? What, what are you talking about with that? But remember, the Bastion can fix everything. We just need that shard. That would have been too easy. Can we block those back? This looks like Turkey two chance. For now, kid had little choice but to pick up where the calamity left off. Anything here? Nope. I know the world First ended and everything, though. but. There's someone we figured Have you ever tried just going down to the remnants of the surface? Hmm? I know the world ended and everything, but you think anybody ever Laura tried going down back. to the remnants of the no surface? No doubt planning the next move, but we knew ours already. Well, that was a week of travel for basically nothing. I, I don't think it's actually ever told if there is anything down there left other than the core of the planet. Anything in the lost and found? Breaching Ooh. bullets for the army carbine. Oh, a special bullet that lodges inside the target and explodes shortly afterwards. Some frowned on this device. But no one denied its efficient effectiveness. Yeah. Okay. If if that is supposed to be a name, I don't know what that is, Marco. Turret surprise. A special cell that splits open on impact to reveal a security turret hardwired to defend the user. First used by Zizlandian Armada as a deterrent against privateers. And we have a special secret skill for the bellows. Uh, a technique causing the user to spin while spouting flames, created by an infamous circus performer whose craft concerned him more than the safety of others. Holy! And... Oh, we found... We missed more shrines. I might as well grab all of these. Okay, it does change the tone of... You know, it's tone slightly when you buy multiple in a row. Yeah, I still don't know what you're trying to... Try saying it in different wording, what you mean there. You trying uh, to say technically? Or technicality? Or technically? That? Anyways. Lemaine, God of hope and despair. Foes shall induce sloth with each strike. For each battle, soldiers prayed that the Mason King grant them high morale. Lemaine. Javel. Okay. And then there's... Eudrig. God of impulse and bravery. Foes shall cause harm on physical contact. Okay, contact damage. The morning stallion affects the wishes of all people upon the break of every new day. And there's two we haven't found yet. Okay, I don't think there is a shorter version of that, uh, Marco. Uh, let's see, we have plenty of fragments, but we don't have material to upgrade the pike further. We could upgrade the shotgun, the hammer, 
that one. Do we have any more? Anything we can pick up here. No, not that we. Well, maybe this one. Can I upgrade our hammer a few more times? Let's see. New extended grip for focus attack. Defend for a few moments using the bullhead shield and attack. Okay. Reverse grip. Uppercut attacks cause knockback. Attack without moving to uppercuts. Okay. Yeah, I, I, I still don't know what you're trying to use. I think you're thinking of a word that doesn't actually exist or something. Let's see. Draw speeds, two penetrations. His bow is looking lean and mean like a prize fighter. Let's see. Arrows damage. like that can practically find their own way. Let's see. Let's take the hammer and the bow. Ain't never letting go of his old friend with a sturdy grip like that. The sail hammer is only as strong as its spine. That's a strong spine. Okay. Back to the first two weapons that we found then. And yes, this clicking whenever you change something does get a bit annoying. There. Nothing new on that. Let's see. Okay, the slingers. Quickly put 12 bullets in a single target without missing. Okay, that is pretty easy with the no spread upgrade. And the city. Uh, spend the required number of fragments. Okay. We talk a little here and there. Okay. So, nothing new to add on that. And, yeah, we'll just have to move on. There's something we had to do before going after that last shard. Zoltan's Hollow. Zia detected. Instead of core or shards. <laughs> Marco just doesn't know what anymore what he's trying. Uh, try Google and just let autofill. Maybe that'll fill it in there. The Ur launched her assault on the bastion from this outpost. Zia must be here. Zoltan's Hollow is the Ur's border blockade. At least it used to be. Yeah, not much of a border when there's no neighbors left to border with. Well, now it's personal, ain't it? It's personal for him, and it's personal for me. They never saw him coming. He gets his hands on the care package I sent him. Calamity cannon. What? Yep, we have a rocket launcher. It's a little something I've been fixing up in my spare time. Holy! Back left area clear. Nope. Okay, why are we destroying these? found a way to keep okay. the calamity from spreading through Sultan's Hollow. Okay, so they basically made... <clears throat> they got their own security and everything. Pretty fancy. Still, they ain't used to having visitors around. Okay, so the, the scientist sends message back and they put up securities and let it They've backfire. Got these that are all what's keeping the place together. Oh, on my own backfire. In my own blast zone. <laughs> and it, okay, it puts goggles on him. Might be needed. Okay, that I didn't know. Don't 
And yeah, now we're undermining what little they have left of the civilization. Well, I have a feeling that this, this game's gonna have a sad ending. Drugs are like tumors, the same kind they are playing like the Bastion. Well, the Ura must be in a panic right about now. Do they set up a turret system to destroy their own cover? Uh, I think they're putting up the turrets uh, in a haste. Little rattletail heads on the kid. Those rodents are just a bump in the road. Country. Uh, oh, raise the required number of land pieces. Come back to your stupid chickens. Okay, and all for what? They wanted to close some tunnel doors? Yeah, uh, they wanted the genocide. Uh, Yeah. It's, it's a horrible, like, how to prevent more wars? Genocide, like, somehow, it's, I'm surprised they were so damn to see the problem with that. Yeah. So, it's a, just an awful server, I think, and it's stupid. hammer that was used to build the walls of Ceylandia to bring down the Uras balls. Uh, let's see, Marco. You are technically being spied on by... Oh, you mean that like he... like Rox is telling the kid of his own actions? The heck happened? Okay, the lasers are bending there. Yeah, if you roll by those are shooting at you, it looks like the lasers are being bent to follow with you. Get rid of these things. Yes, I know that I'm getting caught in the back in the blast. How do you... I completely forgotten how to actually use secret skills. Maybe they know they've lost this. Lost to a kid. They underestimate us. And it's paying go wrong. Our people caused the calamity, but here we are trying to fix it. Shame the opportunity for civilized discourse is over. Suppose old Zolf should have got to know us better. It's not the time to get reckless. Okay, I thought there was a path to that, but no. Yeah, dead he old. Maybe I should have trusted him. Told him everything I knew. Here. 
Ceylonian and fried chicken. Pests. A fried chicken. What the? Was that the time move? Yeah. So we are getting close to the end. So we can extend. Or we can move. The, the next the stream would be close, short. Alright, I'm okay with us extending. As the hour grows desperate, we are bringing up the big guns. Said big guns being a crossbow. Bye bye. Uh, yeah, since it's unsure if we'll have a, a second stream today, anyways. There's nothing yeah. standing in this way no more. Okay, what have we here? He sees the Tazzle terminal flee large on the horizon. All those dreams snuffed out in the calamity will bring them back. But way out there on the edge of the world, that's where he finally finds you. But it ain't like Prosper Bluff this time. Ain't nothing for this gal to sing about now. Zia, you weren't kidnapped. No, ma'am. You just had to see what happened to the Ura. To your own people. She went willingly. You had to see if everything Zolf wrote to you was true. No shard to add this time. But part of me missed. Does this belong to you? You know damn well it does, dumbass. Sure you didn't drop that twangy thing on purpose? Just to see if he go after you. <laughs> Clever girl. And that child's drawing that we found. The Calamity took everything from the Ura, didn't it? Besides their will to fight. They lost everything, didn't they? But they just keep on fighting like that's gonna bring it all back. Aren't we as well? Mm, let's see. Yeah. A crude but heartfelt illustration. It is inscribed in chalk on a stone surface. Unlike most of the Euro civilization, it survived the calamity more or less intact. This was one of the only traces left of the Euro civilization. I don't need to see what happened to the Ura. I'm trying to undo it, remember? Okay. Let's actually go back to this pike since it does more damage, Long I think. Reach and plenty of power. Now that's a scary combination. Anything uh, lost and found? Uh, might as well buy this one once I figure out what button activates it again. Nope. Mans or missile? An experimental ordinance that breaks into a cluster of explosives on impact, spreading destruction. A small-scale prototype of the device that caused the calamity. Yeah, no, because making a product, a small version of the thing that ended the world is a good idea. Oh, you turned me the action build a... A, a, a mega nuke! Once the kid gets that last yep. shard from Zolf, it'll all be over. And the last level. The Z he, the Tyson, uh, the terminals. He bides his time. Uh, Zolf detected. <laughs> he bides his time within the remains of the Ura's massive underground sprawl. The Tazzle terminals. Count all that's left of the Ura's civilization. And the last stop on his little journey. Count us underground when everything is above ground, floating yeah. in the air. Once you enter this area, there's no turning back. Are you ready? Let's actually check. I think we got another level, and yeah, if, if you just go out of it, you will just smack your face on the skyway. Ow. The kid uh, still hadn't learned how to yeah. land. Um... Let's take the life wine. Life wine so rich, they say it's brought men back from the brink for one last taste. So, and then the game today? Yeah, we're ending it. Because otherwise, the next stream of this would be like half an hour or less. Zia fled the bastion when the Ura attacked to learn the truth 
of what happens to her people. I can't hear him at all anymore. He's too far away. But he'll be all right. My now small version of these jackals. Just needs to get that shard from Zolf and come on home. Tazzle Terminal's hardest of all. You know why Zolf went back there. The place was his home. All his old friends and family were there. Taken by the Calamity. Zolf must be there all alone. Just waiting. Activate the secret skill. Oh, not okay. And yeah, the narration this whole time, he's been talking to Zia. All of us are waiting for a kid. And we've caught up to where he was telling. Welcome where to we the are... present. Yeah, we are in current times with the narration. There's not much left to do here, the Bastion, I'm afraid. So why not tell each other stories to pass the time, right? Can they get the record of this? It is kind of sad how all this happened. Yeah, this is basically just a story of two sides trying to wipe each other out now. Yeah, and also what? They did not want to have another war. And they take the worst option possible to prevent another war. Yeah, the one that if they'd been found out about would have definitely caused a new war. When the kid brings back that shot, the best should be complete. What? The poor room is it an alliance making? Yeah. You can take a guess at the general mindset of Ceylondia from uh, from the whole uh, Wild West like us going us on and such. Yeah, I see what you mean. Yeah. Answers. Oh, the defeat three foes with a single blast. Yeah, that, that <laughs> that's a lot easier when you have a rocket launcher. Marco, this game's narration is like Persona 5 narration? I, I, I haven't... I have Persona 5, but I haven't started with it yet. Oh. Zelandia will be whole again. But it is... So there is... Actual voice narration in the game as well? Okay. This will be alright. Okay, we're lucky that most of the Euro dropped comics as well. And uh, yeah, Rox is looking a bit uh, delusional. Maybe. We'll all be gone. Luck? Zolf returned to the Tassel Terminals with the Shard to wait the fall of the Bastion. No, we're not gonna die. It's more like... All of this... will just... stop. Okay, for once we hit and run them. <laughs> Things will go back to the way they used to be. This whole place is a living record of the times before the calamity. The way things were before this story. Up, Scotch, what? Oh. You follow me? It's a new it's a new move. We can actually jump now. Oh time! 
half spots. Uh, let's see, Marco. No, there is a race in Persona 5, but I think like everything you have been playing now already. Ah. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, I think I know what they mean. I hope that doesn't count as a spoiler, Marco. Uh, in the one, I think it is... That, that, that thing is in, in more one of those things that spoiled itself early on in the game. Okay. okay now let's just keep moving. Blow ourselves up in the face with that. Oh no, I, I don't think you could say spoil more of the US outright says it. Okay. Imagine if and you have go ahead. Go. And what the fuck? Back? Yeah, sorry, I was having some records. Oh, everyone's dying. No mistakes. Yeah. <laughs> oh. yeah. We're tossing quite a few people over the edge here, and the place is coming apart. Anyone you've ever heard? Let's just run Everything and jump. you've ever done, you could do it over. And wouldn't that be grand? Okay, they say it's 5 to 15 minutes into the game. That... Well... I guess there's nothing more to say. There we go. We can counter these, but it's a <laughs> very small window. This way, and now this becomes a platformer. There's something else. A confession. Nope, not this way. How come I know so much about the fashion? Yeah, that was curious. Yeah, so far as I Well, I designed the place, but that's beside the point. That. Yeah. There's one problem with a place that sets things back to a bygone time. You can't test it. Yeah, the Bastion. So wondering if the calamity happened already. What's to stop it from happening again after the Bastion does its thing? The answer is. Yeah. I don't know. If you go back in time but can't retain your new memories. And yeah, Ben was Sia's father. That's why the journal You're wondering if there ain't the way out of this mess. It's alright. I can tell. But why would you even want another way? Unless unless you wanted to stay here with us. Yeah, if this if disaster strikes and you can't bring back the knowledge of how to you know, prevent it, well, what's to say sweet it won't happen again? I don't know if I can stick around. It, it looks a bit weird that basically they just made his combat role go up now as well. And hello there. The weight of the clan. It's on our shoulders. We can't just let it go. What? what? Yep. 
Bastion does have another function, strictly speaking. If ever the monument blew out, and we couldn't repair it, we could still evacuate. First, we'd round up as many folks as we could carry. Next, we'd detonate the cores, and we'd take off away from here. Couldn't agree more, Marco. Heavy, ain't it? Out there. There's no other skips. Of course, that would mean no going back. Ever. But then again, that way all of us could leave the city. Together. Not that there's many people to evacuate anymore. You know, Zolf and his countrymen will be giving up that shard without a fight, don't you? And yeah, basically this thing is <laughs> everything we have now. We have an AoE, we have a slam. Or just a hit. And we use it as a shield as well, because I don't think we could wield the shield with this. All they want now is to see the Bastion fall. Zolf dedicated his life to a lasting peace between the Ura and Ceylandia. They stabbed him in the back for it. Ceylandia stabbed him in the back for it. Imagine the city would try to wipe the era out. Zolfane lost every shred of decency though, has he? He tried to warn you about his plans. Come back here, you. We need that thing. Resolve, this ain't a personal matter. When we're carrying this thing, we're slow as all fuck. It ain't a simple matter of pride either. And we can't roll or jump, of course. There we go. all the way home. Yeah. So just that little <laughs> paddle walk, whatever you would call that. What? Move on. Abandon Zolf's body and press forward with the battering ram. Zolf's situation is hopeless and a distraction. His plan to avenge the Ura only brought more suffering. All that matters is the safe return of the shard. Or we take Zolf, abandon the battering ram, and pick up Zolf's body instead. Zolf is badly injured but breathing. It appears his countrymen turned on him as their situation grew desperate. He nearly destroyed the bastion, and yet... I would say we'd take him. Rom? Let me flip a coin. I gotta have a coin somewhere. <laughs> ah. Okay. Heads. We leave him behind. Tails. We take him. Heads. So it's 1 1. 
that makes me the tiebreaker. So I say, you take him. I can see it now. The kid in one corner, then Zolf in the other. Ain't much of a fight. Don't you worry, though. Once the Bastion's restored, it'll all be all right. You ain't still thinking about that whole leaving the city thing, are you? Myself when I was his age. Did I ever tell you about those days? The kid falls in, comes down, and crashes into the ground. Yeah, that seems about right. Hey, kid. Get up, kid. He just landed with a full-grown man on his back. <laughs> of course, he's going to Come take a on, minute. That ain't funny. I say, get up. That's more like it. Now, set that shard into the monument there. Then we'll talk. The bastion. It's finally finished. <laughs> Now, there's something I want you to see. Welcome to the heart of the Bastion. I ain't one for long goodbyes, so here's the deal. Zia and I figure you had done the heavy lifting, so you get to do the honors. We can tell you how to work this thing if you got any questions. Thank you. Let's see. Ask about the Bastion's restorative power. What will it feel like when the Bastion fixes everything? You can undo the calamity here and now. Go on, kid. And before I forget, thank you. If you could go anywhere, would you go back? Or somewhere else? Always wondered what the motherland was like. Not that it matters anymore. I mean, half the planet's gone. He never learned the whole truth, did he? Zolf only brought more ruin to the Ura. No wonder they didn't take kindly to him. Best of intentions, bloodiest paths. At the end of their careers, the marshals used to return their badges to the city. You've got one thing left to do, so you hang on to that badge. Besides, you earned it. And let's see. Talk about what it took to get to this point. The windbags, the beasts of the wilds, Yura. You fought so hard to stop this movement. Don't let anything you've done get to you. You can save all those creatures here and now. You made it. She speaks. What the? 
Holy shit, she's got a voice actress. Do you think this is going to work? What do you think I should do? So, let's see. You can either prevent the calamity, or stick around with me and Rex. I'd hate to be in your shoes. Yeah. The Bastion, it's a time machine. But it can only go back. If you could go <clears throat> anywhere you wanted, where would you go? If I could be any place I wanted, I'd stay right here. We could go anywhere in the world. Okay, bit of a trick answer. Tell Zia what happened to Zolf. His own people turned on him when his plan to destroy the Bastion falters. Zolf tried to talk me into joining him. I tried to talk him out of it. I guess we both failed. And yeah, Zia's song is sung, so yes, he did have a voice actor before. Let's see. Tell Zia hey. about her people. They were very brave, but there was nothing left for them but their revenge. When I finally found my people, I told them we could help. They just took me for a traitor. Glad you showed up. Yeah, they would have killed her. Like they tried to kill Zolf. Isn't there some moment in your life you wish you could go back to? Any moment I'd want to live again happened after the Calamity, not before. Yeah. I think we missed parts of it, but Zia's life before was not good. Uh, Marco, H, uh... oh no, her voice is hot. <laughs> Alright, so our options are hit the reset button and hope we can undo the end of the world, or just piss off to a new, to a new part of the world. Yeah. Restoration. Initiate the Bastion's restoration protocol. Caution. This process will restore to a previous world state, but it's irre irreversible. Only use only as directed. Or initiate the Bastion's evacuation protocol. Caution. This process will cause irreparable damage to the core receptacles, disabling the restoration protocol. <laughs> both, both are good. Both can be done. And I say... We evacuate. We yeah, can't be sure. Before. Yeah, we can't be sure to prevent the end again. And yeah. then we would just go on and on and on in the same circle. Yeah, I agree with path. the evacuation there. Since the evacuation can give you a actual proper new start for both yeah. sides. So many have died already, and we cannot ensure that they won't be no, they won't die again if we try again. Time to see what the new world is like. Oh, mother. And here I figured you'd had enough of me by now. You could have undone the calamity itself. But instead, you want to stay in a world like this. I gotta admit, kid, I ain't yet put much thought in that idea. Carrying on with you here. We can't go back no more. But I suppose we could go wherever we please. There could still be, there could still be more of the world. Anyone left out there? They didn't get destroyed. I sure would like to see the look in their faces. <laughs> like he says like there. Start dock this thing right on that doorstep. I can start to the yeah, right and straight up till morning. I'm gonna need a first mate. What do you say?
do it. Zias and Zolf's songs mixed together. And yeah, there were hurts, there were wrongs, though he has harmed others, and he continues on. He has been, hmm, maybe not forgiven, but he has not been forgotten. He has not been left behind. That was Bastion, Supergiant's first game, and what a start, huh? Yeah, I can see that. I, know. I own the game, and yet I didn't know that it was distributed by Dub by Warner Brothers. Yes, I didn't know it either. But I can see this. I can see why this really. Yeah, they, they... there's not many companies that can have a. Such a good, successful first game. Yeah, not just successful, but just good quality as well. Because games can be financially successful and still be kind of crap in actual quality. But yeah, this... I would say this game... This game could be taught about in just so many schools of, like, writing, arts... Uh. Yeah. And the, yeah. This game deserves its Hall of Fame. Yeah. Let's see. Marco? Well, it was a good stream, but I gotta go. See you later, Kevin, Drukir, and Ram. See you later, Marco. And uh, <clears throat> to answer your Is question earlier, good ends. It depends on your perspective, I guess. I will say this though, if you chose for restoration, you would get New Game Plus. You would not be able to stop the calamity, because, yeah, it's a hard reset back in time. Nobody would remember, and everything that happened would have happened again. Though, yeah. the, the, I do believe if you do choose restoration, the, <laughs> the narrator or Rox will react differently at some point. Like, haven't we done this before? But yeah, it's maybe not the good ending, but it is the ending where they move on. Yeah. But yeah, yeah be like safe, Norco. Be safe. Yes. Also, yes. like I said before, second star on the right and straight on till morning. And then you'll find Neverland. <laughs> Amusingly enough, one? I'm actually referencing Star Trek 6. Yeah. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I thought that was from Peter Pan or something. I mean, yeah. Hey. From, I mean, yeah, it is from Peter Pan, but I mostly just remember it as, like, <laughs> I think the last line Captain Kirk says as he and the Enterprise leave. Oh. So it's a double it reference. <laughs> so it's for the Kirk era. No wonder I haven't heard it. Yeah. And yeah, now that we're done with this game, uh, we still have Ori as our second side quest. But this one will get replaced by Supergiant's second game, Transistor. And that game I have not played any further than we've gone in the showcase. So... All of that, including its length, will be uh, new to me. 
but yeah, which you, as you can guess with a game like this as their first, and well, just the general reception of the game, it is going to be a good time. Yeah. Again, I think the only one we might skip might be the, <laughs> the higher one. Yeah. The Empire, we're going to skip, probably, and most likely, because, yeah, from what all I've seen, it basic, it's basically nihilistic rugby slash football of a sort. So yeah, now... and people have almost got depressed from it. <laughs> Apparently, it's got a good soundtrack, though. Yeah. Yeah, I did mention that, like, even with the, the, that Empire being the least liked game, all the games that have have had a excellent soundtrack. So basically, Sonic, but uh, better quality <laughs> the game design overall. <laughs> All right, let's go look for someone to raid. So I'm going to change the screen share. There's a lot of people online again, so we're going to have to trim things a bit. Uh, let's see. I'm probably going to just skip most of the Tears of the Kingdom streamers, of which there are. Only one today, it seems. Or no, that's yeah, that's two. You know, that's Breath of the Wild. Uh, let's see. We have the Schwalbe seventeen twenty eight who is streaming Deus Ex. Let me double check. Yes, the place is muted. And it, that's the original Deus Ex. Okay. Hey, the uh, one time swimming is useful. Uh, next up, we have a bunch of people who are streaming Final Fantasy XIV, apparently. I'm Nice is playing it, and apparently it's, this is their first time going through the storyline. <laughs> it's almost right. First time storyline. Uh, then we have Frogcast, who is streaming Kane and Lynch 2, Dog Days. Uh, Why? I never heard of Kane and Lynch, I have heard of a series, but I don't actually remember if it was considered good or not. It was considered meh at best. Okay. Uh, next we have Kirin Yatsuyoko, who is streaming Mass Effect Legendary Edition. And they're doing multiplayer. Okay. I... No, that's just Mass Effect 3. Yeah, why does it say Mass Effect Legendary Edition? Then maybe they picked the wrong one. But maybe they added multiplayer in later or something. I no, don't know. no I, I own the thing. It doesn't have multiplayer. So I'm guessing that's Mass Effect 3. Okay. Next up, we have Karenai, who is streaming Warhammer 40k Rogue Trader. Okay. The beta. Oh, yeah, beta. Says it right there. Okay. And apparently they consider themselves a 40k nerd. And they're, they've just gone BRB. Uh, next up, Horatius the Dwarf is streaming Resident Evil 4, the new one. At why is there a lawn chair with two RPGs duct taped to it? I'm sure again. Like, everyone had one. Uh, and then last but not least, we have Puffle Cakey with Diablo 4. Like, I've heard good of it in reviews, but the problem is I don't, tr I don't trust... Uh, I don't trust uh, Dia not Diablo. I don't trust Blizzard any further than I could throw a literal freaking mountain. So I'd expect them to mess the fuck up the game within the first month by putting in microtransactions that are bullshit once the reviews are in. And well, the reviews aren't going to mention that, of course. After <clears throat> so yeah, I yeah, have I no, I have, I have no expectations from Bl Activision Blizzard other than bads anymore. Yeah. I I just not gonna bother with it. I'm not gonna b really too much bad talk about them. I'm not gonna. I'm more of just more of a walking away. Okay. I was a fan with them once, but yeah. after all, all the things I've seen uh, of what they have done and behaved, I just feel like it's not the ones I knew in the past, or they might they might still be in them just. Seen more sites I did not expect to see and I did not like. Yeah. The best thing I can do is just walk away. Yeah, they're not going to get any more of my money. So, the yeah. Best, Who really should the best raids? option is to stay away. Hmm. Uh, so we raid 
nice with uh, Final Fantasy XIV, uh, Fracas, Kiri Natsuyoko, Horatius, uh, or anyone else? Or shall mm. I pick? pick? I'm gonna go. I'm kind of exhausted. You guys have fun. See you okay. guys later. Have a good we'll night. See. see you next time, Rom, and be well. See, be well, Rom, and see. thank you for joining. As Thanks. always. You guys have a good time, too. Uh, let's see. Which should we pick? I will let you choose this at the moment. Uh, let's see. Did Karen and I manage to kill off their stream on accident or something? It's... I you know, I just said they were zero viewers for a moment. Oh. Yeah. Okay, the fuck is up with their counter? It went from 70 to then 40. You know, there must be bot raids or something going on. Maybe best to avoid them for a moment then. Uh, that or it might be glitched. Could be. Uh, let's go raid I'm nice. We'll just, let's just be man. nice and raid nice. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, slash raid and paste. But before we go, of course, uh, thank you everyone who has been watching now or later. Uh, it'll be a bit questionable if we will do a second stream today because my family wants to go out for dinner. Uh, wants is not the same as will, so it's a maybe at the moment. But because of that, yeah, just went extra by about 40 minutes now. Uh, but yeah... Even if even if the restaurant visit gets called off, maybe call it off anyways uh, to just have a bit of rest, uh, a bit more rest between things. Because tomorrow we'll also hopefully have two streams with Showcase Sunday, for which I'm testing the games if, to see if they're working. And uh, a free spot in the evening. If we don't do a stream tonight, we can definitely fill that in with, uh, by, doing, by playing Ori tomorrow evening. Yeah, at least we finished Bastion today. Uh, this uh, early evening now, I guess we could say. Uh, it's still twenty to what's officially evening, but yeah. Anyways, uh, yeah, that's the sort of plan for the moment. So let's start up that raid, and yes, uh, thank you everyone who has been watching now or later. Thank you, Random Marco. Thank you, Rom, again, for being a co-host for a bit. And, uh, yeah, thank you anyone who has been watching now or later or lurking. And, as always, thank you, Dirk, here. You're welcome as always, my friend. And, yeah, until next time, have a nice day, and until then. Be safe, everyone, and watch out for seagulls. And uh, calamity cannons. That, too. Uh, calamity rams. Stream deck. Come on. It's not responding apparently, so I'll just do this manually. Or wait. Yeah, that's the first time. <laughs>